Despite the economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic in the past three years, China has continued increasing investment in transport infrastructure, making transport more convenient and efficient, and stimulating rapid economic growth in various regions. China's infrastructure development has always been the center of attention for the world. The largest train station in Asia, which will integrate high-speed rail, intercity rail, subway and buses, is now being constructed. The size of this station demonstrates China's great successes in transportation construction. Let's examine the history of the building of the biggest train station in Asia and the enormous effects it will have. It is estimated that the train station will cost $8.5 billion to construct. The train station is in the Chinese city of Guangzhou in the south. 2.63 million square meters is the total planned construction land area for the project. The railway station city's total area is 340,000 square meters, while the construction area is more than 1.11 million square meters. Incredibly, engineers intend to complete such a large-scale train station in just three and a half years, given that it is only five kilometers south of Guangzhou's previous largest train station and is already one of Asia's largest comprehensive transportation hubs. The Guangzhou City Flower is used as inspiration for the design concept of the train station's exterior. The station is made of 4,000 tons of steel structure pedals, combining the beauty of traditional Chinese culture and modernization in its architectural style and appearance. The station's extending pedals, which triple the waiting area, represent the K-pop flower in a highly intricate and delicate design. The train station is anticipated to serve 100,000 passengers daily once finished, offering more convenient travel options for many passengers. As a result of people's increasing reliance on high-speed rail travel, it will also relieve pressure on another high-speed railway station in the city, which can accommodate up to 400,000 passengers per day, an astounding number. As a result, the construction of the Bayun train station had to be expedited. Construction on the project was delayed until October 2020, due to the significant effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Although about 600 construction workers and 300 pieces of equipment collaborate in an organized manner, this large-scale project has several challenges in finishing quickly. First, the difficult terrain of Guangzhou's Bayun district, with its high-altitude, undulating terrain and dense population, presents a challenge for constructing the Bayun railway station. The engineers must overcome the challenges posed by the challenging terrain to ensure the project's stability and safety without compromising nearby traffic. Second, high-intensity construction is required due to the project's massive scale and intricate structure. Although difficult, the construction of the Bayun railway station must be finished in three and a half years. Thirdly, stringent environmental protection requirements must be met to make the project feasible for opening by the end of the year. Engineers are working day and night with a 24-hour shift system. When building new large-scale infrastructure facilities, China has always adhered to the concept of green environmental protection, energy saving, and sustainable development. Therefore, engineers have adopted multiple environmental protection measures when building the railway station. China has pledged to strive for a carbon peak before 2030 and carbon neutrality before 2060 to the United Nations. Therefore, they are currently highly concerned about the city's environmental issues. Solar panels and green vegetation on the exterior walls have been used to efficiently use energy while maximizing environmental benefits. This has expedited China's transformation into a modern, low-carbon nation while minimizing pollution and its negative environmental effects. The construction of the Bayun railway station during the COVID-19 pandemic was also somewhat impacted by the pandemic. Construction workers' mobility was limited, and the availability of some materials and equipment was also impacted which put pressure on the project's progress in terms of quality. A few foreign media outlets have expressed surprise at this train station's construction. The construction of this train station was described as an example of China's bold planning and grand construction, demonstrating China's ambition and strength in urban planning and construction, despite the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, according to the New York Times. The project was finished in three and a half years, and the engineers were very impressive. A large transportation hub integrating passenger and freight transportation, subway and bus, is anticipated to be operational at the train station by the end of this year. The station has 32 platforms and 40 railway lines and can accommodate more than 200 trains at once. 
the station's passenger capacity is expected to reach 30 million per year. In addition to buying train tickets to various locations across the nation, passengers can also go to their destinations using subways, buses, and other modes of transportation. Additionally, the train station conveniently has several amenities like shops, restrooms, and restaurants that offer comprehensive services to passengers. Southern China's Guangzhou is a significant economic and transportation hub. Building the Baiyun train station will further Guangzhou's status and influence in the Belt and Road Initiative, encourage coordinated regional development, and open up new development opportunities for the city's tourism sector. Along with the Baiyun train station in China, there are several huge and modern train stations, such as Beijing South Station, Guangzhou South Station, Shanghai Hongqiao Station, etc. They have established a strong foundation for China's high-speed rail construction and have become a significant milestone in its development. However, there are still some issues and challenges with the project. For instance, the investment required for high-speed rail construction is substantial, necessitating a lot of money and resources to be attracted. They also continue to spend a lot of money on infrastructure, making it impossible to achieve profitability promptly. The finance department is about to face immense pressure. Get ready to witness the adrenaline pumping challenges that await them. Don't miss out on all the action. Subscribe now and leave your comments to let us know how much you enjoyed this thrilling video. Cheers.